There you are, Trevor. Ah, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him? Pull the trigger. Hard shot, like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. That's about the right distance. Trevor, don't do it! You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.
Could you send out a cab post haste? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Good work. That's the ride, my man. Finally, we have lift off. Yeah, this kind well, of is like excuse him, why? But I have to say, you did not just touch me. Do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? 
Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look. I'm sorry, but well, where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. to me, Franklin couldn't. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit, and nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Yo, That's out. our truck. Yo. You know the drill. What you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never see my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in David. We're on, boo. Let's move it out. Come on. I was only parked there for a minute. Well, what the hell? This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer car. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet? Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years.
Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round.
Block 8-9 Zeta 3X. Wait. Wait, wait! Stop! What's the problem, homie? Wait. Carbon based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are. Readings are. Shoot. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14 9 305. Time is. 789 past the Manx Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, homie. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Resuming data scan. What a freak! Another crack mother. What's going on now? JB. Niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him. Leaving messages. Saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. Hey, can I get a cab? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. All right, thank.
Rancho. All right, brother, here we are. I can handle that. 10-4. Put the hammer down. This track right here, it just makes you want to smile because it's so damn good. Really, unless you have, you know, you can't smile because you had too much of that poison injected into your face to stop you from aging. If that's the case, well, just nod your hand. It's getting every day, man, where there's some kind of warning about the different kinds of food. Coffee is bad for you. You shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't eat that. And people in town, man, they're always lecturing you about what you shouldn't eat. Oh, don't eat this. Don't eat that. When did food become so much drama? And people are so angry about stuff, man. And also for those out there, you got to be careful going down on the vegetarian, all right? Because they taste like chicken. Man, I almost soiled myself. I glad you showed Any chance you could take me to a mechanic so I can get that death trap fixed? Hey, look out! Okay, thanks again. That could have been much worse. If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You could tell J.B. I did his work for him again. I will, boo, soon as he wakes up. Stop right there! 
here, punk. I warned you, fool. is the shit. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat, and don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves, then stole and sold everybody's private information, and even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area clear! Sir, leave the area now! This is for authorized personnel only. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. We'll do. But before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets, and new property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh shit. Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Whiskey. Look out the way! Oh. I like your style. 
Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. you in a magazine one. If you've got a pen, I can sign your tits. I do that a lot. Shut it off, boy! Right. Get out of the lay down. Ain't nothing personal. Normal people, it's time to put down the knife and fork and go under the hey, knife and scalpel. Give up and get this. Stroke and surgery. Remember, surgery solves everything. Breaking news. A pharmaceutical CEO found murder. Redwood Cigarettes prepares to do battle in the corner room. Breaking news. <laughs> CEO of Milkington Research, the company that manufactures controversial new heart-stopping erectile dysfunction drug Priapol, has been found murdered in Los Santos. With Beta Pharmaceutical share price already spiking on the news, there won't be many Mollus investors weeping tonight. The 700 attorney strong Redwood Cigarettes legal team is preparing to take on its 83rd class action lawsuit of the year. And it's such a foregone conclusion that most people appear to have simply stopped caring. Who cares? I only smoke electronic cigarettes now so I can look like a real dick. The tip glows blue. Weasel yeah, news. That nice right.
Damn, I ain't got much time left. It's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. You digging this music, San Andreas? We got some more for you. Nah, it ain't right. I ain't doing it. 